Hello my little mermaid friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mermaid Star Gamer, but you can call me Amanda. Today we are continuing the Black Widow Challenge with Apollo. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I suggest you do so. I have the link for the Black Widow Challenge in the top right corner, or you can find it in the description box below. Please like and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos I put out. I put up a new video for Black Widow Challenge every week. I don't have a set date yet. <laughs> Still trying to get the whole move thing situated, so. All right, so last episode, we met, well, we got our first victim, which was Nadia. Awful compatibility, oh no. It's because she hates him, he cheated on her by woohooing in the utility closet right next to her watery grave. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, he also met Adelaide, Adel Ad Adelaide, sorry, got married, I think, I think they're married. Yeah, they're married. Soulmates all. Um, she had a daughter, but I deleted her because it was just going to be too sad to have a little toddler lose her mom. So I decided just to get rid of her because it's not fair. It's definitely not fair to the little one. Don't want to hurt no littles. Adelaide is in her watery grave. So now we just have to wait for her to basically expire. But um, yeah, let's get into it. And Summer is um, Red's wife, so no, no. So we have been getting our victims off of Cupid's Corner. So let's go ahead and see who. Oh, that's right, we were working on Penny. So Penny is gonna be the next one. So let's go ahead and we're gonna call her over and just, oh wait, no, we're not gonna call her over. We're gonna go to the bathroom. Let's write. We'll call her over when we're done here. So, oh, and this is the room. I don't remember if I showed you. I don't think I did. So this is his room. Just a simple little room. His color is yellow, so we're doing black and yellow, kind of like a bumblebee. This was little Alex's room, but like I said, I deleted her and I got rid of all her stuff, so. Ooh, romance festival. I can't go anywhere though because she is in the pool. Why do you have your skinny dip? Why not? Considering you have clothes on. She's like, I can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. There we go. Oh, she still has clothes. <laughs> she said, nope. Not skinny dipping for you. Perfectly fine. Why do you have sandals on? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Apollo, my dear. Here, we're just gonna give you, I mean, it's warm, so go ahead and put that on. Now, go ahead and invite Penny over. Hey, Penny, do you wanna come over? Come on over, come on over, baby. Oh, just come on in. Where are you going? What are you? Oh, okay. And she had the baby, so I kind of want to see who. Okay, she's crazy. I kind of want to see something real quick. So let's go ahead and go into cast. Full edit mode. Um, modifying casts. Okay, so 
she has a little boy. Penny, um, I'm going to say no. Exit. So we're going to have to pick someone new because Penny is also in the same boat as Adelaide. Okay. Penny, you got to go. Sorry. No kiddos. No kiddos. I wish I can put, like, no kids. I describe myself. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go with Abigail, I guess. Or... No. We don't want Penny. Ashley. Casey. Gloomy. Unflirty. No, I don't want unflirty. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? We can refresh this now. The... I don't think she has kids, so let's go ahead and save her. She's a slob, so what's one slob? Less? <laughs> Alejandra? She's cringe. We'll try her, too. I'm not picky. Becca. Sure. Julia? Cute. Bridget? She's paranoid. I mean, she would have every right to be paranoid because once you get into his grasp... There's no leaving alive, so. Eh, nah, mm, I don't think so. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. So chili, I, I don't know. Um, so we have, we're going to get rid of Penny. Monica, Monica, Alejandra. Let's go with Becca. She's romantic. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a date. Get to know your date. Let's go ahead and get to know our date. We'll be romantic. Woohoo. Physical intimacy. And I think... Why can't... Oh, select location. Okay, and then we'll come here. And... I need... My blanket. There's my blanket. Oh, I know. Let's make this into an urn room. <laughs> we'll just throw it in there. For now. I'll put it on a, a shelf or something later. Flirt with Liberty. Alright, you want to go with Liberty. I think she's married, though. We're not doing married. She's like, I'm coming to you, baby. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and brighten day. Let's go ahead and brighten day. <laughs> Thank you. Why didn't you get... Oh, there we go. I'm like, why didn't you get a socialize? Pleasant conversation. Thank you. How about offer rose? Discuss interests. <laughs> Tell an engaging story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Share photos. Ooh, programming. Now, can I see if you have any kiddos? Sorry, Fox, I'm busy. Ooh, he was like, no. Tell an unbelievable story. Why are you both... What? She was like, can I touch you? And he's like, no. No. Propose a crazy scheme. Are you single? <laughs> really, you guys? Jewel, jewel. Okay. You're single. Discuss the latest games. I have absolutely nothing in common, I guess. Let's see. Where are you? He's like, I don't know. Teach about romantic satisfaction. Boring conversation. Here, we'll spice it up a little. We'll do an impression. They are not doing very well. Relax together. <laughs> uh. 
All right, well, that's done. So let's go ahead and do Ask to Seductive Dance. I mean, that's not boring. <laughs> sure. I'm bored with this conversation, so I'm just going to do a seductive dance. Um, light physical intimacy. Hmm. Embrace. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with the embrace. <laughs> Are we going to embrace, please? Thanks. <laughs> Talk about woohoo. <laughs> wow. He's like, yeah, no, I don't like you. Apo no, we're not unflirty. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. All right. We're not doing this. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> Here. Open social bunny. Fox wants to be added to your contact list. All right, here we go. There you go. You're on it. Um, friends. Add. Becca. We're going to be friends, okay, Becca? Because this is just as funny as this is. With you guys trying to flirt with one another and then you like get embarrassed i love it by the way we're not doing this because it's more of a challenge but i don't have time for this he needs to get well he needs to get rid of adelaide then here we were at we'll do a couple more of the flirty that should be good. All right. Now, please don't do something that makes your romance go down. Kiss hands. That should be good now, right? <laughs> Apollo has just befriended a romance enthusiast. Yes. Really, Apollo? Stop. <laughs> what is your problem? You have good compatibility, but you don't want anything to do with her. All right. We're not doing this. She's going to be number three. Sorry. I don't care what you think, what you say, or anything like that, because this is happening. We are, she's number three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have two hours. Let's do this. <laughs> um, we can't woohoo? Oh, no, we can't woohoo because you haven't even kissed yet. Um, recap woohoo with other people? Here, we'll do flirt. Are you flirting? Here. Here here's a rose. Thank you. Affection. Okay, we got flirts. Now we need physical intimacy. First kiss. As to extend the date. We're having such a good time right now, so let's extend this date. Sure, we can definitely have more time. Let's do a suave kiss. Whoa. <laughs> she was like, Yes, please. Oh, I don't want to confess attraction. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. 
You guys are on your own now. <laughs> Sexy pose. Ooh, it's awfully warm in here, and Apollo and Becca can't seem to keep their hands off each other. Romantic partners with a steamy romantic di dynamic gravitate towards romantic socials with each other, especially physical intimacy. Yes, they can be steamy. Alright, be affectionate. Blow a kiss. Give you something to do while I try and find this. Um, profess undying love. And we will go ahead and woohoo. Woohoo with the Becca. <laughs> Now, two more hours we're going to need to extend again because I want to have a good date this time. I'm tired of getting books and Apollo, get your booty up. No sleeping. Tired of getting books and Kleenex and just no. Asked to extend the date again. She just can't get enough of you. Yes, we can extend it forever. Uh, now we can recap Woohoo, apparently. Kiss hands. All right, I need to... Oh, looks like we're woohooing again. <laughs> Let's do this. Woohoo with Becca. Oh, we're getting close. Close, close, close. Get up, Apollo. We have such... We're so close. We have an hour and 52, 54 minutes. Exchange numbers. We haven't even exchanged numbers yet. You woohoo twice. <laughs> and you haven't even exchanged numbers. <laughs> wow. Okay. Be affectionate. <laughs> Sexy pose. Asked to be romantic partner. I mean, why not? <laughs> hey. Oh, your bed broke. Apollo can now scan the room for possible romance around himself. Sweet. Um, your place. Yay! Passionate kiss. Oh no! Oh, we did it! Yay! <laughs> I was like, we gotta extend it. No, we're good. We're good. Thanks. Well, she just, she can't stop touching you, Apollo. She wants you. All right, you gotta go to the bathroom and then we're gonna make some food. Get some leftovers. Sorry, babes. <laughs> gotta go to the bathroom. Gotta eat some food and then I'm going to sleep. And Adelaide is pretty miserable. Wanted to live together. Um, sure, we're gonna live together. You both are gonna be sad, unfortunately. Yay, $20,000, thank you. She's like, awesome, we just got more money in my little box in the pool. Yeah, you go ahead and eat as well. Excuse you. Did you just take my food? No. We're good. There's still more in there. Get to know your date complete. Gold medal earned. Wow, that was such a legendary date. Your sim was on fire out there. 
there's a gift in your Sims inventory to help you remember such a great time, try customizing the description using the name interaction. Cherished memories portrait. Let's see. Is it in my inventory inventory? Excuse me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have all this stuff in here. There, that's what you got. Your, her hands are going, what is, oh, okay. That's cute. Adelaide, die already. She's almost there. She's miserable. Poor Adelaide. Watch the sky with who? Are you gonna watch the sky with Adelaide? Wow, the water looks really deep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But sucks to be you. I really need you to go and get another person, but I can't leave because Adelaide will get out. So why don't you, where is your book? I thought I put a book, your romance book somewhere. There it is. Why don't you read? No. It's only volume one. You need volume two. All right, well, we'll just do it. It'll probably be boring for you. You, I don't care what you do, so. You do you, boo. You do you. You're not having fun, Adelaide? Great reputation. Hmm. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Adelaide. She's almost there. Where are you going? What are you doing? Chat with Giancarlo? Where are you? Apollo, where are you? Why did you go downstairs to chat? I can't, I can't go down there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there we go. What? Well, I did have it. Okay. Do you like him or something? Can we? There we go. Goodbye, Adelaide. Adelaide is drowning to death. Sure, you can give them my number. Goodbye, Adelaide. Nice knowing you. We had fun. Who are you? Kathleen, what are you doing here? Apollo learned about Giancarlo's financial status. Okay. He's nosy. I mean, I guess if you like him. He's like, all right, we need, we need more people. So I'm gonna go out and find myself some. Way down here. I can't, I, I can't get to you. I can't get to you, Apollo. <laughs> and the Grim Reaper is way down there. Grim, what is wrong with this thing? Hey neighbor, I'm bored. Wanna hang out a bit? Not even there, babes. Not even there. Scan the room, apparently. <laughs> I'm guessing he doesn't like anybody. Oh! <laughs> Agatha. Do you like Agatha? There's Janice. Well, Agatha left. Becca, you're still sleeping, Becca, wake up. I'm so sad. Well, why is, all right. I, I guess you're just gonna have to talk to Juan Carlo or yo, anyone up there for 
getting their exercise on? No. Come over here and give yourself a pep talk, even though you didn't even know her. And we're going to go ahead and put you in the urn room. Right next to Nadia. You're having a great time down there, not? I'm going to really need you to come up here, though. More Nadia. No, you're not going to more Nadia. Look, you are... <laughs> Becca, you cannot be in there. Attracted. Sims are more attracted to Sims with attributes that match their turn-ons. Set turn-ons and turn-offs and create a Sim. Come over here and cuddle with Becca. I need you both to not be sad. There. Oh, it's not going down? This is supposed to go down. How are you mourning the death of a loved one? You didn't even know her. <laughs> Call the sadness hotline. My wife just died. My other wife, my second wife. Yes, she died drowning in a pool. No, there was no exit. Yes, it was intentional. Why couldn't that work? Why do I have to wait? Two days. I don't have time for two days for you to be sad. I'm going to go talk to these people. How about we, um, let's cuddle in bed. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. You didn't even know her. How is she special to you? Why are you sad? Yeah, let's cuddle. <laughs> It'll make me feel better for losing my wife. Should make him evil. Then right before they go into the watery grave, have him dislike them. That way they become enemies and he'll be happy when they die. Maybe we'll do that <laughs> because this two days stuff is not, it's no bueno. He's like, I want to hug someone. I want you to see this isn't going down. It's supposed to be going down when you cuddle. I wonder why it's not working. Best friends. That's fun. Let's become best friends. So you'll be even more sad when she dies. Apollo has felt the spark of reform. Should he change his romantic ways and live a, live a more romantically reserved life? No. She's flirty. Welcome, Becca, to the household. Hers went away? Desire for excitement? Early midlife crisis? It's great to be a part of this family. Dirty dishes, noise, and all. Who's you? Nadia, welcome. Welcome back. Now I'm going to have puddles all over the place because they died in a pool. Great. Watch the stars with who? Nadia? <laughs> you don't like each other. Why are you eating my food? It's like going to go right through you. That's for me to have and you not to eat. And go to the bathroom. Take a shower. Oh, maybe we can do a brisk shower. Ooh, let's do this. A steamy shower. Come clean up this. Come clean up the puddle. Of your person's first wife. I really need you to be in a better mood. 21 more hours. <sighs> Go give yourself a pep talk. Give yourself a pep talk. Just keep doing it. We need to get rid of this. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. You do that. How about we do give yourself a pep talk? 
like him. Get rid of this. The sadness. Two more hours. Okay. <laughs> Wah. Ooh, he's flirty. Yay. Get rid of it. Now. Early midlife crisis. Don't care. Contemplate life. I don't care. I need you to get rid of this. I feel better now. I talked in the mirror. All right, passionate kiss. And then we're gonna go ahead and, oh wait, it's over. Here, 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 here. here. Huh? Why can't you propose? Apollo's romantic feelings about Becca is neutral and very satisfied. Becca's romantic feelings about Apollo, un unknown attractive level and unknown satisfaction. Their good compatibility. In love with my best friend. Aww. Close for moving in together. They're both smitten together. You need to pay your bills. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Mm. Um. No! You don't get to just call and get rid of my paying the bills. That's not right. No! My brothers. Ugh. How do... There we go. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> I had my meltdown. <laughs> Paula was proposing to Becca. Victim number three. See, look. You don't have to worry about your midlife crisis now. Because you're not going to be around very much longer anyways. Loyal? No, you're not loyal. How are you going to be loyal? <laughs> Elope immediately. Go away, Azrak. And we're getting married. Victim number three. What a beautiful ceremony. Becca is exchanging her vows with Apollo. Yay. They're having their very first kiss. Why did this break again? Hey, Becca. You have absolutely no skills whatsoever, so go ahead and repair this. How did you... Why? <laughs> Throw it away. Alright, so... Since you didn't die from electrocution... <laughs> Come over here and skinny dip. And go ahead. Get in the pool with your skirt. And there we have it. Victim number three. Go on to Cupid's Corner. Find some matches. We can get rid of Becca. Becca's right here. Okay, let's see. I think we're going to go with Julia next. And I'm just going to do it this way because we already had a really good date. So, do, where is that? Social bunny. Add, we're going to add you this way there, sweetheart. Okay. So this is like a super easy way to do it. Okay, so Julia is ready to go. Um, so I will be working on Julia next episode. Then we're going to have Becca do her heart thing. Get her in her watery grave and add another urn to our little urn room. Which we should probably actually have a shelf. Okay, so... I'm going to use this one. Hopefully it works. I don't know if we can put them up there, but for now that's going to work. Or that's what we're going to use. So we'll put Becca's picture right there. And there. Should have got a picture of Nadia and... Uh, whatever her name is. 
<laughs> Adelaide. I forgot her name. Oh well. But it's fine. It's whatever. So I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content I have on my channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all having a great day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and toodles.